love you all. Thank you for tapping in today. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Cleveland. So welcome to the Fish Corner, everybody. Before we get this video started, do something for me. I want you to smash the subscribe button and then stomp on that notification bell. Just let you know every time I upload. Now, we are in front of this 225-gallon aquarium. Now, what are we going to do with this empty, big aquarium? Well, we're going to upgrade our cichlids. We are finally going to move all of our African cichlids from the 55-gallon tank over there to this amazingly big tank. Now, I just cleaned it the other day. Did everything. I mean, I cleaned that filter. I cleaned the FX4 down there. I mean, I did the gravel vacuum Carter. I mean, I did the gravel vacuuming. I did a whole nice little beautiful rock structure that baby's about to take a look at that I is going to come show you that we did in this 225-gallon aquarium. Now, all of these different rock structures, or all these rocks, they're situated in a way where we have some caves, we have some swim-throughs, and overall, we just have an amazing-looking aquascape for this aquarium. African sickness, y'all. We can't really put any plants in here. We would like to, but they will eat that up. So we can't do that. Maybe we'll figure another method out. Probably we'll do a little aquaponics up top. Maybe. If not, other than that, let's just go ahead and get all of these African cichlids over here. Now, I will acclimate them a bit. I put crushed coral inside of the filter up top. Let's do a little water test. Water feels perfect. So let's go ahead and grab these African cichlids. I smell like so much food. That's all I'm smelling right now. I'm just smelling myself, smelling food. Not a bad thing, though. Definitely a good smell. So this right here is my fish catching station. Y'all might recognize the scrap cart. So were you just showing them the African cichlids bag? Yeah, these are some amazing African cichlids that do need to grow out space. I cannot wait to see these fish grow out in that 225 gallon aquarium. Long overdue. So we'll go ahead and get some of this water. And then what am I going to do with this empty 55 gallon? Well, I plan on moving over this whole setup to the corner right there. Why? Well, because I need to move the 150 and the 75 gallon right here. Why? Because I'm going to build a plywood aquarium over there in place. Why? Because my fish need bigger. They need a bigger tank. They need more space. So that's why. All of this has to take place. That's why all of these things have to happen. That's why I'm doing this. You should name this video Why? 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 Did it, did, 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 did. All right, so now this is going to be a little hard. You know, I got a big net, but hey, they are definitely going to make this a little bit difficult. I'm sure of it. Got a couple, y'all. Got a few, y'all. Really right. All right. Even got a loach. All right. Let's keep it going. I see you. Got one. Got two. Yeah, it's not that bad. All right, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going, y'all. Come on, come on. Let's go. Come on. Corral y'all down to the end. Huh? Come on. 
Hey, y'all play too much, huh? Y'all play too much. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Don't make me grab you first. Come on. Oh, you want to get over there? Let's go. Look at y'all. Y'all acting all scary. All right. There we go. Oh, all of that and only got one? All of that for one. Yeah. One again, huh? There we go. That's two. Man. There we go. Two less. Right. They are definitely not making this easy at all for me. All right, y'all. We're going to have to change things up a little bit. We're going to go in there. We're going to move some of the stuff around because they're playing with me, and I don't like it. So let's go ahead and take out these rocks. I'm gonna make this real easy for myself because they play too much. I don't want there we go. Grab this rock right here. They all scared. Grab this rock right here. All of these rocks. All oh, these rocks got to go. Got the coral. And let me go ahead and put that into something so it don't just drip everywhere. He's over there a little too quiet, huh? Usually that means that he's into something. And he loves being over there. Definitely means he's into something. So, Carter! All right. I'm gonna get all these pieces out of here just to make sure my net don't get hung up on nothing. All right, and then as for these sponge filters, we're gonna, we're gonna lift those up, get these out the way as well. All right. Now, let's see what we could do. I think I got one more. Where's that blue net? Right up there. All right, so let's go ahead and use this blue net as well. We don't have no time to be playing games with these fish. All right, all right, let's do this. Get over there. Get over there. Oh, y'all. Oh, y'all. What's up? Uh huh. Now, what's up? Y'all play too much. I'm about to get all y'all now. Not all y'all, but enough. Got the big guy. Two other ones. It's a little better. The last piece of equipment that's in the way is this heater. And then there go that sponge filter again. It's time to move him in, huh? It's a lot of uneaten food. Well, you know what? Let's just go ahead and just take it off. Let's just 
it just like that. Now, I could easily just move this out the way. There we go. There we go. So which way y'all gonna go, huh? I want y'all to come this way. I like y'all over here. There we go. Get over here. I'll grab you first, then. You out of here. Right now. Keep trying to do something different, huh? All right, buddy. You better go to the other side. All right, you next. Keep trying to do something different. Don't get caught. All right, now, now everybody is on the right page. Right page, right side. Ah, get back over there. Get back over there. All right. Here we go. Let's do it again. It's not easy. It's not easy. But we'll get them. A little bit at a time. Here we go. Y'all on that side now? Uh-huh. Yep. They're like, no. I thought she was going to be one of the last ones. thought that Barracuda was going to be the last one. Oh, that's it, right? Oh, you got one more. Where's he at? A loach on the left hand. All right, there we go. Come on, loach. Oh, you went right into the net. Good looking. Thank you. All right. Now, we'll leave this as is. We'll take the whole card over there. All right. So, here we are. We at the new spot. New who's going to be the first one? Let's see. Who's the lucky? Let's see. I want to. Okay. You are. What you think, huh? Tell me. What you think about it, huh? You like it? Acting on normal. Yes. There we go. Cool. Next up. You gonna use your hands? <laughs> Come on, get over here. Get over here. Who's next? Okay, you next. There we go. There, there you go. What's up? What you think? Colorful ones in there. What you think? You hey, like it? It's gonna be easier for them to hide in here too. Not really. Yeah, you looking good. I see. What's up, sofa head? Who is this? Huh? Who is this? Gotcha. Black Widow Frontosa. What's up? Look at you. Didn't even need a didn't even need an acclamation, huh? Look at y'all, huh? Who are you? Who are you? Get over here. I'm going in blind. I'm just reaching in. Ah, right, there we go. What's up? There we go. All right, who's next? Get over here. Gotcha. 
Who is it? Who's it gonna be? Ooh. <laughs> he didn't like it. <laughs> they looking good in here though. They looking good. <clears throat> Who is this? Come here. Come here. Got away from me. Get over here. Get over here. Get over. Here. Come here. Gotcha. Yeah. Stop. Stop. Yeah. There we go. One of my favorites. I like it. Looking good. Looking good. Next up. Come here. Come here, you. You didn't even put up no fire. Oh, you're beautiful. Oh, yeah. You're so beautiful. There we go. Get in there. Get in there. Yeah. Stretch y'all fins. Y'all deserve all of this space. Yeah, they definitely look good. All right, Biggie. Uh-oh. All right, Biggie, there you go, Biggie. I know, yeah, spit that out. Spit that air out. Yeah. What you think? You already coloring up on us, huh? Right. Look at you. Biggie Schmalls, huh? Who are you? Another black widow. What's up? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Who is this? Oh, another beautiful blue one. There we go. Look at ya. Look at ya. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, they like they're not even really like trying to get away now. They like, hold on, like you taking us right. out. Woo! Look at him. Next up. Who is it gonna be? Who is it gonna be? Ah, there we go. Yeah. Uh-huh. Look at they're definitely not even scared. No, nah, they're not scared. They're adjusting really well. Oh, here we go. I see you. I see you. Yeah, there we go. One of my favorites, too. Uh-huh. Come on. I'm trying to blindly get my eye biter. Come on. Is the eye biter? Eye biter? Nope. A OB. Okay. That's what I'm talking about, though. Yeah. Looking real good in here, y'all. Looking real good in here. You all right, Pop? Who's this fam? Got somebody. Got somebody. Ah. There we go. Come up. Get comfortable. New spot. New pad. There we go. Another OB. Uh-huh. They're like, hold on. We got so much space. Oh, got so much space. There we go. Uh huh. I like that one a lot. Yeah. Now I feel like we gotta go get more. Well, we wanna let these go out, but we gotta get certain ones. There's certain ones that I want now. I'm not just grabbing just to grab now. Now I wanna grab specific ones because we have a real nice selection of pretty much all of them. Like the Malawi Hawk. We gotta get the Malawi Hawk. There we go. There you go. Go find your buds. There you go. He like, you in here? <laughs> I thought she was getting left. Thought she was getting left another one. Who are you? There we go. OG. What's up, OG? You know you've been one of the OGs. You're the, one of the first African cichlids we bought. You lived through the 75 gallon catastrophe. And what I mean by that is that we threw all about we threw about 19 into a 30 into a 75 gallon tank and because the water was soft from that driftwood we lost about eight of them there we go another ob looking good reaching in blind still i haven't grabbed a single loach that's crazy right uh. to be a loach nope loach there go another black widow yeah, I've been waiting for it. I got a loach. <laughs> Feel it. And <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I've been waiting for this. I've been wanting them in here for quite a while. So happy to oh, you got it. you jumped out of my hand that quick. So happy to have these fish in here. They look Yeah, they look really nice. They're all right. They adjusting there. very well. Oh yeah. Come on. You can tell they're happy. Exploring. That's Mm -hmm. Definitely exploring. They thought and it was over. There's another black widow. Scared of us, but they're they're really not. 
You know, they really thought that it was over. They're like, hold on, he getting us all out of here? What do we do? There we go. Another OB. Yeah, you in there. You in there, bud. And I kind of, and I really do like these these lights, though, for him, though, as well. There we go. Oh, dang, you caught him. Yeah, that's not that's not the eye biter. Oh. That's the Malawi Barracuda. He mad. Look at oh, he's so mad. Turn around, turn around. It's a whole tank behind you, boy. You got six feet. Yeah, there you go. He's like, nope. I don't even care. All right. It's so cool, just going through the rocks. I can't. They're not letting me catch anymore. There we go. Got you. Who are you? Woo. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Man. Some of y'all, I'm about to have to eyeball y'all. I was over here trying to go at it blind. <laughs> Come on. Get over here. Get over here. Who are you? Okay. I see you. I see you. All right. Another beautiful one right there. Little orange guy. Huh? Some of these are not trying to let me catch them at all. They're like, nope. I want to stay in the bucket. Trust me, y'all don't want to stay in the bucket. Ah. I'm going to have to use this net now. <laughs> the last of them. Oh, get over here. The eye biter is super quick. Gotcha, man. He was so fast. Shaking me. I got two loaches and an eye biter left. I would not have thought the eye biter was going to be one of the last ones. Right. And these loaches are quick. Okay, well, you know what? I got three left using this net on these boys. Come on, boys. Look, all at one time. All right, it was fun while it lasted. There y'all go. Get on out of there. There you go. I got to wipe the glass down and everything. Woo! Let me get out your way and grab, grab the paper towels real quick, babe, please. So I can wipe it off first. Ooh, look at this. The moment we've all been waiting for, some of us. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. Make sure y'all hit that like button. We caught all of these fish by hand from the bucket. We putting that work in for y'all. And, uh, man, look at this. Look at that. This is what we do for our fish. We upgrade them. We give them the biggest home possible. And who knows? Carter, what you in there doing, boy? You in there catching fish? Oh, man, Carter's over there in a 40-gallon catching fish by hand. You were trying to catch hybrids? Yeah. Huh? You was catching fish? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're not in trouble. It's okay. It's okay. Were you having fun? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, not in that one, not in that one, not in that one. You were catching hybrids. What were you going to do with them? Where were you going to put it? I know, I see. Excuse me, Carter. I love you. I'm gonna let you run that montage, baby. That's, I know it's looking good over there. Yeah. Now you see why I wanted to. Why wow, that's the, this is the video that I was looking forward to. I always look. I always look forward to upgrading fish. It's definitely an exciting moment. That's better than uh than buying new fish sometimes, unless it's something that we really really want. But for the most part, I definitely love upgrading my fish to a bigger home. They 
adjust it so nicely. Didn't even have to acclimate them. And I was a little nervous about that at first. But it was nothing to be worried about, nothing to be nervous about. I did it right. If they eat already in there, that's gonna be amazing. All right, y'all, so what do you think? I mean, isn't that absolutely stunning to see the fish go from a 55-gallon to this 225-gallon, amazingly huge aquarium, y'all? They're going to have plenty of room to grow. We're going to cherry pick some other African cichlids that we want to also add in here. But, I mean, look at this. Everybody's doing amazing. They are literally just exploring and and going through the caves and the loaches are already doing what they do, what we anticipated that they would do, which is dig through the sand, help keep this thing. I mean, it's just, it's just amazing. It turned out better than I thought. If you think this thing turned out absolutely stunning, do something for me. Make sure you hit the like button. Also, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. I appreciate each and every one of you that took the time to watch this video. And if you stay to the end, Y'all are truly some OGs. We really appreciate everything that you guys do. We're humbled by it. Now, as I always say, I hope that you learned something. I hope that you're inspired by something. If you're new here, I've said it. This is going to be the third time. Do something for me. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. And everybody, if you like the video, like the damn video. Peace. All right, y'all. So we almost at 20K. We almost at 20K. I appreciate you all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, share the content, help us get to that 20K. Also, follow us over on TSD with me on TikTok and YouTube. That is our other channel behind the scenes. You get to see all the behind the scenes content. Aida's in charge of that one. She's been doing a wonderful job getting ahead of me. So if you want to get ahead of me too, you got to follow over there. But again, I appreciate you all. Let's get to that 20K. Have a good one. Peace.